going to brush by the whole question of proliferation. Um, it's well to remember that nuclear energy has dismantled more nuclear weapons than any other activity. This is a, for some reason, quiet program that buys up warheads from the Russians and turns them into nuclear power. And in fact, you can see the number of warheads that have been converted as of June. 20% of nuclear power in the US comes from, 20% of our electricity comes from nuclear. Half of that is coming from the Russian warheads. Thank you. And uh, when we're finished with theirs, we're going to start uh, using ours. There's probably no other, civil there's no other weapons system that has as much civilian value in it when you decommission it. All right, well, how about the spent fuel? The standard thing one hears is, oh, the spent fuel is such a difficult problem that there's no place in the world where uh, we can put spent fuel. Well, uh, we were going to put it in Yucca Mountain, but that's out. Uh, like a zero budgeted... Uh, about a month ago. So where it is, is where it's been for quite a while now, in dry cash storage in the various reactor sites around the US and around the world. Uh, you can go there and be photographed standing next to the thing. No bad thing will happen. And it's a perfectly decent interim solution while we figure out whether we want to recycle the stuff or burn it in integral fast reactors or stick it way the hell down in the ground. If we want to stick it way the hell down in the ground, we've already got a site that works very well for us, which is the WIP. Um, the waste isolation uh, something plant, pilot plant, thank you. And uh, it's a pretty good deal. They go down a half a mile into a salt formation, and it's pretty interesting down there. This is what it looks like. It's real easy to mine, and that salt gradually heals itself. So what do you, whatever you put in there heals in around it. And here's a slide from Jim Conka, who runs the uh, environmental oversight for the, for the WIP. And uh, basically, he says that this is how it works. That salt formation, the Salado formation, they're now estimating that if humanity used nothing but nuclear power and did a once through with its fuel into waste, Probably by then it would be using some thorium. And stuck it in the ground. Um, you could, civilization could do that for 10,000 years and there'd still be room down in the Salado Formation to stick it in the ground and stop worrying about it. The Salado Formation has been there for 250 million years. It's not going anywhere. Salt doesn't get into it, doesn't get out of it. It's a really good place to park this stuff. 